Hey guys, it is Wednesday today. We'll be focusing a little bit more on uh, upper body here uh, for the strength portion today. So we got a push and pull. Uh, we've got five, uh, 15 minutes to complete four sets of eight bench press and then 16 gorilla rows, okay? And the gorilla rows will be a super set after the bench press. So you're basically, you're going immediately after the bench. Uh, when you're setting yourself up for your bench press, Eyes in line with the bar. Hands will be just outside the shoulders. Make sure feet are gonna be underneath the, the hips here. You're driving those feet into the ground, okay? Um, you'll bring the bar over the shoulders. Elbows are gonna be locked out. You're squeezing those shoulders down and back. You're driving the feet into the, the ground here, taking a big breath. Bracing, lead with those elbows down. Elbows are gonna be right underneath the, the wrist here. Okay, and then you're driving through the um, driving through the ground with those feet, and then pressing right over the, the chest. Okay, so eight reps here. I'd say maybe choose a weight um, around like 60-ish percent of your your one rep max. Okay, and you can build into that as you go. So after the eight reps there, immediately you're going to go to to your kettlebells. Okay, in between the the feet here. Nice flat back position, okay? Soft bend in the knee. I'm gonna be driving my elbow into my side, okay? And alternating, okay? Pulling right into the, the hips there. Okay, A per side with that. After that, I'll rest, and then I'll go into my uh, bench press again. You're, you're resting as needed, okay? Um, but you're trying to get through all of that within 15 minutes, all right? After that, our conditioning for today, <clears throat> we're gonna add some heavy deadlifts, okay? So we've got five rounds. We're starting off with 10 deadlifts, right? And these are heavy. So um, grip-wise, I would do an uh, over-under grip, okay? Make sure we're stabilizing that spine by squeezing the belly. Arms are long, shoulders are pulled back into the hips here. And then we're driving those legs through the ground, squeezing that butt forward, standing nice and tall, okay? You may need to do this in a couple of sets, that's totally fine. Since it is going to be five rounds, that's gonna be 50 total reps of the, of the deadlift there, okay? So um, go at a nice smooth pace, right? So after those 10, you'll head over to the wall and we have everybody's favorite wall walk-ups. Okay, so we're gonna start on the ground here. Hands will be right at the, the shoulders. You're gonna start off, I like to go into a downward dog position before I start, so my hips are gonna go back toward the wall. My feet are gonna start to walk up the wall, okay? And if you're new to this, only walk up to where you feel comfortable, okay? If uh, you're a veteran or you do feel comfortable, walk all the way up till your chest touches the wall and then walk back down to where you started your shoulders, all right? Then chest touches the ground. So you got five of those to do, all right? That's a high enough number where starting to get challenging, okay? Maybe take a couple breaths in between each one of those reps. As we start going through those rounds, all your core is gonna to start to get tired. It's really important to keep that core tight, especially after going from those deadlifts. After that, we've got 10 box jump overs. So you're coming over to your box, you're jumping up onto your box, over to the other side, okay? Use this part to kind of catch your breath, get your shoulders back, get your legs back, before you go into those two harder movements, the deadlift, and the, the wall walk-ups, okay? Five rounds of that, keep it at a steady pace. You got 15 minutes to finish it. Um, should be doable if you chose the, the right weight for the deadlifts and you're not taking too much time on the, the wall. Happy Wednesday.